Matt gave us on location in Mallorca, Spain with Tom Lee. Tom is a hunted with Journey Hunt several times, great guy, uh, really enjoy spending time and hunting with him, understands hunting, an avid bow hunter who's not afraid to pick up the gun on occasion, but an avid bow hunter um, out of St. Louis, successful businessman, just a guy who understands life and gets it all together. And today, Tom, pretty interesting hunt. Looking forward to it. We, we've had several days in Spain, Maybe you've already been able to hunt what animals? I uh, was able to shoot an ibex with my bow. Uh, lovely shot off my bluff. Uh, pretty exciting stalk, climbing in, moving in on him. And uh, we also uh, took a ram uh, the other day uh, with a rifle. Had missed one with my bow earlier and stalked in on one 200 yards and shot it uh, over on, on a cliff. Uh, very exciting, very challenging, and very uh, beautiful scenery, beautiful country. and. A lot of animals. Right. The cool thing about Tom Sierra Nevada ibex is in that particular area in Catharola, that's the first ibex that's been taken with a bow. And so a really unique scenario. Tom was able to take his first ibex with a bow, which was the first one in that region. And in the Ronda region, I was able to take my first one with a bow, my first ibex, and it was the first one in that region. So we've got two firsts. Um, the cool thing about this journey is it's really a cultural experience. The food, the people, the lodging, you can see a little bit right here. I mean, we're staying in nice places. We're eating good food. Very, very cultural. Um, my friend came from work along with his wife and my wife came also uh, just to experience the, the cultural uh, beauty of the, of, of the area. It's not just a hunt, it's, it's just a cultural experience and it's lived up to that billing all the whole trip. So we've been in the Iberian Peninsula, we've been on the mainland of Spain, we took a flight yesterday, landed in Mallorca. Again, the thing that's cool about Mallorca is this is the only place in the world that you can hunt the Valerian Bach, um, a, a Spanish, real Spanish goat, unique scenario. And we're about to head out um, and chase a, a beauty of a goat. The, the guides in Spain, you have to hunt with a ranger, it's law. And so these park rangers are full-time guys, they're professional hunters, and so you have to hunt with one of them if you're hunting on public land. And these rangers have found a, a few goats, but one particular goat that they say is incredibly large that you're gonna try and get on today. Brings a little bit of excitement to me in this scenario. Looking forward to it. And try to make a stalk without spooking it. Yeah, get in bow range and, right. and uh, hopefully throw an arrow right through them. It'll be a perfect scenario. Looking forward to it. It's an exciting hunt and uh, hopefully I won't let anybody down if we can manage to stalk close enough. Well, that's the great thing about hunting with us. There's no <laughs> let down. We're going to get that's out right. there. You're going to do the right. best you can. We're going to try and film this hunt and see what can happen. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be a great day. Thank you. Me too. Looking forward to it. We have in the front Antonio Terwell from Ivor Hunting. He's here leading the way. This is Cisco getting out of the car, going to the Banco. He is uh, Antonio. He's 40 years. I yep. believe, yeah. servicing the parks, yeah. and uh, and just does a great job. Yes, he's uh, since many many years. He's the first outfitter here in uh, Mallorca Island, where uh, he's organizing the hunts for the Bok Baller. And uh, this guy, he knows exactly all the corners of the island where the good books are. So we're gonna try and get Tom on a Balearian Bok today, and yeah, and uh, maybe it can be a surprise. You know? A big surprise, potentially. Yeah. We don't want to say anything yet, but uh, it can be. Well, here we are. We're just unloaded. Heading up to where they've been seeing the goat. Lots of Zulon gear.
Sevilla on 350 yards from the Pog Balear. It's an amazing trophy. Uh, we are thinking the best way to stop the animal and Tom can have the chance to go as close as possible. I think we will have one, maximum two chances to get this uh, Pog. We will do all our best, but it's not easy at the moment. It's a very, very old and a big trophy. So we have to be very careful because they can be very spooky. And if they have run away, we will lose him for all the day. So we don't know if tomorrow he will come back again. So my friend Tom now uh, have to enjoy the moment and don't have any pressure on uh, this talking nut. No pressure. <laughs> so we speak later. <laughs> You nailed him. Yeah. Right through him. Right through him. Pretty long stop. Pretty long shot. How far? 55 yards. So nice. So Matt told him. It's a 50 yard pin, a little bit high. Played a firm in a quarter. Heard nothing but rock. And missed again. But obviously they are right through him. And then hit the rocks. Horns. It grew in the horns. Yeah. Who is that? Look at the skin. Very hot. Oh, thick here. Very broken here. That's an old goat. Very, very hot. Look, you see here? Yeah. 
Where is this? Very old. Take care. Yeah. My goodness. I don't know how it can be this. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You are monster. This is a lot of point. <laughs> we will see. Amazing. The skin is beautiful. The hide is perfect. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs>